Here's a question. How do you accurately pose a character if you have little to no experience with posing or even human anatomy? Something I assume will be quite intimidating for a beginner. So to help streamline this learning process, I'm going to be introducing you to Daz Studio, a free character creation and posing software. If you haven't yet installed Daz Studio, then luckily for you, I've already made a tutorial on how to install and set it up. Now in this tutorial, I will be introducing you to the basics on how to use Daz Studio by setting up a basic mannequin and posing it. If you have watched my how to install Daz Studio video, you will know that I asked you to install my personal keybind settings to improve your workflow. Now let's talk about why we're using this software in the first place. The main reason why I've chosen to introduce you to Daz is due to one factor, which is that Daz's character models are extremely advanced and well rigged. Every character is equipped with inverse kinematics, or IK for short, which means if you click on one of these hands and drag it forward, you will see that the character is pulled forward with that hand. Daz's rigs are also equipped with joint limitations. For example, if you bend this character's arm backwards, you will see that the joint limitations are preventing his arm from moving too far back. And this basically makes it really difficult for you to make an unrealistic pose. And that's why Daz Studio is a very useful tool for people who are unfamiliar with posing and human anatomy. Let's start off by saving this project. Go to File, Save As, Scene. Save it to your Kitbash project and call it Daz Poses. Now, let's import our first character model. Go over to Smart Content and go to Figures. Click on Genesis 8 Starter Essentials. Go to Figures again and click on Genesis 8.1 Male Dev Load. Next up, go up to Create, New Primitive, select the drop down menu and select Plane. This will give us some ground to stand on. Press E, select the middle cube, and just drag it out to expand the ground. If you think the ground is too bright, go over to the Surface tab, click on Plane, click on the Base Color section, and reduce that to a dark gray. Once you're done, go up to the Scene panel and lock the plane so it can't be selected. Now go up to File, Import, and select our DAS, AKS, OPJ. This OBJ file will also be linked in the video description. When it imports, it will appear at the bottom of the screen. Press W and drag it up. Press F to focus in on it, then press R to rotate it. Now move it up and increase its size, so it's roughly in proportion to the character. You may notice that the AK is a bit too bright. To fix this, go to Surface, Select this drop down menu, select all the materials, then go to Color and darken it. If you don't like how shiny the AK is, go over to Glossy Layered Weight and set that to zero. You can also do this for the character as well. Now, let's equip this character. Pull his hand up and then move it forward. Move the hand into position. Then select the AK, rotate it, and move it so the pistol grip aligns with the palm. Then select the forearm, rotate it, and bring it in. Move the AK so it rests between the thumb and the index finger. Now to make this hand grasp the AK, we need to first select the right hand's palm, and then come over to the posing panel. Click right hand, this will give you a menu of the different poses. Find right fingers grasp, select that slider, then drag it to the right, and the hand will do a grab pose. Move the AK so it better fits the hand. Adjust the fingers so they wrap around the handguard. Grab the index finger and unfold it so he has good trigger discipline. Adjust the thumb so it's correctly positioned. Now that the character is grasping the AK, we now need to parent it to the right hand. There are a couple of ways to do this. 
the fastest is to first select the right hand, then go over to the scene panel, then collapse this right hand menu so the AK object is now visible. Click and drag the AK onto the right hand and it will automatically parent to that limb. Now when we move the right hand, you will see that the AK will move with it. Now, let's pose the entire character. For this project, I'm going to be creating a patrol pose, where the character is walking with their rifle at the ready. Let's start by moving the right hand over, so the AK is positioned across the character's chest and pointing down. Then move the left hand so it's reaching towards the AK's handguard. Now again, use the grasp slider to make the left hand grip the handguard. Rotate the head to the left, so it's looking in the direction of where the weapon is pointing. Now to pose the left hand, we'll need some reference images. These will help us understand how someone would naturally grasp the AK's handguard. You can find these images in the video description below. Adjust the individual fingers so they match our reference. Now we have a good torso pose, we need to now give the character's legs a walking pose. There are a few ways to do this. We could pose it manually, or we could use a preset pose. Go to the Starter Content tab, and then go to Poses. There, you will find a list of character poses that come free with Genesis 8. Select the pelvis. Right click, then click on Select Children. That will select all the leg bones which are connected to the pelvis. Go over to the Pose tab, hold Control, and then select Base Pose Walking C. A menu will appear. Go up to the Nodes tab and change that to Selected. Then press Accept. That will apply a partial pose to the character. If you find that he's hovering above the ground, double click to select the entire character and then move him down so his feet touch the floor. We now need to set up this project so later on we can import this pose into Blender. Go back to the Kitbash project and create a new folder. Call it Poses, then copy its URL. Go back to Daz, select the entire character. Go to File, Save As, and then select Pose Presets. Use the copied URL to navigate back to the Pose folder. Then save this pose as Walking Patrol Pose. To reset the character, first select him, then click on this T-Pose icon down here. Select Restore Figure Pose. And with that, this concludes my tutorial on posing in Daz Studio. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to import this patrol pose into Blender using a little tool called Diffeomorphic.